the unique, amazing achievements of the space shuttle, there are things the shuttle can never do. The shuttle's been a fantastic vehicle for us. It's done things that no other vehicle can do, like carry aloft huge telescopes and pieces of the International Space Station. But with its wings and its reusability and its tail and so on, it can't leave low Earth orbit. The shuttle cannot re-enter Earth's atmosphere at the speeds required for a return from deep space. And it cannot remain in space for much longer than two weeks at a time. NASA's next spacecraft, already being built and tested across America, will do those things and more. This is the spacecraft that's going to take humans to explore uh, the solar system. It's the next big step for NASA in exploration. Called the Orion Multipurpose Crew Vehicle, or MPCV, this next generation spacecraft will enable America to explore beyond low Earth orbit for the first time in more than 40 years. These missions will take humans far away from Earth to explore distant asteroids, the moons of Mars, and other places in our solar system, beginning a new era of space exploration. Manufacturing and testing of the MPCV is well underway at facilities across the United States. And the spacecraft systems, ground support equipment, and launch facilities are already being developed. As NASA focuses on the construction of this new spacecraft and plans voyages into the solar system, NASA's commercial partners are developing private spacecraft to transport equipment, supplies, and crew members to the International Space Station. Orion is a capsule. It's a, a more traditional kind of spacecraft uh, designed uh, in the same way that Apollo was designed to do things beyond low Earth orbit. The Orion multi-purpose crew vehicle will sustain a crew of four astronauts on missions that could last from six days for a lunar flyby mission to up to 900 days for deep space missions. These long duration missions will require sophisticated life support and power systems that can endure the harsh environments of deep space and return the crew safely to Earth. The spacecraft includes both crew and service modules, a spacecraft adapter, and a revolutionary launch abort system that will significantly increase its safety. Based on lessons learned from 30 years of space shuttle operations, the MPCV's flexible design allows for upgrades as improvements in technology become available. This flexibility, as well as the unique life support, propulsion, thermal protection, and avionics systems will enable continued innovation throughout the spacecraft's operational life. The Orion MPCV is the most advanced space vehicle ever built, incorporating technological advancements in electrical power, rocket engines, navigation and flight control, communications, and life support. The spacecraft's new launch abort system has already flown, performing flawlessly during a flight test high above the New Mexico desert. This all-new escape system would be used to pull the crew safely away from an accident during launch. Because of the extreme distances that would be traveled during a long-duration mission, the MPCV has an advanced communications and tracking system so that it can remain in communication with Earth. A return from deep space means that the MPCV will enter the atmosphere at higher speeds than a spacecraft returning from Earth orbit, exposing the vehicle to much higher temperatures. As the Orion MPCV and its crew return to Earth, the vehicle will be protected by the largest and most advanced heat shield ever developed. Components of a sophisticated new automated rendezvous and docking system for the next spacecraft have already been tested in space. The system was tried out with a special test rendezvous with the space station on the next to last flight of the space shuttle during the flight of Endeavour near the end of the STS-134 mission. Experience gained during flights of the shuttle and other NASA spacecraft also have led to innovations and advancements in the manufacturing of spacecraft components. Working alongside commercial companies to develop complementary systems allows NASA to focus on space exploration beyond low Earth orbit. So they're complementary in that uh, as the commercial uh, plan works and, and relieves our 
cost need for supporting ISS, it gives more money for exploration. And exploration allows us to take the lessons we learned from the ISS support and apply it to uh, long-term and exploration of the, of the solar system. The difference in missions means the spacecraft must have different designs. For Orion's long duration missions, the crew must have more living space than the amount needed for a commercial spacecraft's short duration mission. As a result, Orion's interior space is almost 40% larger than most commercial spacecraft designs that are in development. Orion also will have the capability to act as a backup for transporting cargo and crew to the space station in the unlikely event it is needed. With the Orion MPCV, NASA will extend human presence into the solar system as America once again voyages beyond the pull of Earth's gravity. It's part of what we are, it's part of being human, I think, to go beyond what we understand, uh, to push the boundaries, so it's another great step. Every day that we design Orion, we get closer to going out to places like the Moon, Mars, asteroids, or perhaps even the moons of other planets. As commercial partners design and build vehicles for transportation to low Earth orbit, NASA is now focusing on the vehicles and systems needed for the next generation of human space exploration. In factories and plants, in cities and towns across America, men and women are building the spacecraft that will allow humans to leave Earth and expand our knowledge of planets and moons and asteroids. For the first time in a generation, we will explore beyond Earth orbit. We will go places humans have never gone before. And the journey to get there has already begun. <laughs>